there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're gonna make a layout that can either go in a planner, a bullet journal, or in your scrapbook because it's going to be a December, kind of December daily planner page. Uh, the stamps I'm gonna use are from our sponsor, Rubber Stamp Tapestry. You can find them online at pegstamps.com. And I thought that they would just be perfect for doing a project like this. So what I have here is just a piece of cardstock. And um, I am just making some columns in the cardstock and then just drawing some lines. So what I'm doing here is I want to kind of make a memory page of all the fun things that we do in December. We get so busy during the holidays and it can be really tough to um, do any scrapbooking or memory keeping during these busy times. And then like a month or two later when you go to make those scrapbook pages, you can forget what you did each day and probably even forget some of the events you did. So I thought by making a, a simple calendar like this, writing down what we did on each day of the month, it would be a fun way to look back on our um, holiday season and see all the different things that we did, people we visited, um, and parties we attended. So maybe this is something that you might like to do in your scrapbook. I did something very similar when my twins were born. Actually, before they were born, I made calendar pages to go in their baby album and pre-scrap the entire year, and I wrote down everything we did on those days on the calendar pages. And so that's kind of where this idea is coming from. And also, because bullet journaling is so popular right now and planning is so popular, I thought this might give an idea for other folks that don't necessarily scrapbook to use as well. So after um, writing all those lines down, I just numbered it one to 31. So I'd have uh, just a line for every day of the month. And then I started decorating the page. I wrote uh, the word December 2019 and events with a pencil in cursive. And then I just went over it with the brush pen. Now, my tip here for this would just be go slow, take your time and write your best. I am not a calligraphy artist. Um, I have very little handwriting talent. Um, to be honest, I'm pretty lazy, but if I go slow, Low, then I can come up with something that's legible and kind of pretty. Um, at least I think so. It's as, it's as good as I can do, guys. Um, but if you have a good penmanship, it's going to come out beautiful. Just as long as you go slow, press on your marker more when you're making a downstroke and lift up on it more on the tip when you're doing an upstroke, you're going to get a really pretty trendy uh, brush lettered look. Now, the candy stamps I'm using are from the Gingerbread Wonderland stamp set that I designed for Rubber Stamp Tapestry uh, last year. So if you have that one, great, use that. You could also use any of their peg stamps uh, to decorate this. I'm using some pretty Christmas balls to decorate the little lists down here because I thought this would be kind of fun, like a bucket list thing or, you know, events that we want to try. Maybe you want to go Christmas caroling or volunteer at a veteran's home or something like that. Um, those would be what I would write in the events area or upcoming events. Now I had a little boo-boo here. I went to erase my lines and I actually smeared, uh, there was like a smear of blue on my eraser and it left a smear on my page. So what I did was I just grabbed another Christmas stamp from Rubber Stamp Tapestry and just stamped some little kind of poinsettia star designs um, in some yellow. And then I did some smaller poinsettias in red and just kind of filled in a little bit. So you couldn't see the smear anymore and it just added a little decoration. Now, of course, if you're somebody that's been doing bullet journaling or planning for a long time, this probably looks pretty basic and boring, but hopefully it gave you some ideas on how you could incorporate your planner pages into a scrapbook layout. We all get busy this time of year, but there's so much going on. And it's nice to remember that uh, during the slower parts of the year. You can visit pegstamps.com to find the stamps that I use today. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.